What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we're diving back in with some more rate reduction. Uh, if you watched my last video where I removed all the sound deadening out of the car, that was crazy, a lot of work, um, but I encourage you to go watch that video. So like I said, back into the archives, which means I took some footage from September of last year, which is already, what, eight or nine months ago? That's crazy to me, um, where I was trying to drop every single ounce and pound from this car. So remember, I did a lightweight battery. I did carbon fiber door cards. I did race seats. I did a carbon fiber hood, a carbon fiber trunk. I mean, I was going all out to try and get this car to where you guys see it is today. Um, so in this video, I'm installing a NRW carbon fiber sunroof delete. Um, so please sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Today, I'm gonna be installing this carbon fiber sunroof panel here from NRW, Nelson Racing Wheel. I've got the whole interior out of the car to install the roll bar that you might see over there. So that's gonna be a video I'm doing uh, separately but at the same time here because I had to take the seats out to get the roll bar in and I figured it'd be easier to drop the headliner and all that with that out. So today I'm be installing this awesome piece. If you've been watching my recent videos, you should know that I'm trying to put the car on a diet and the best place to remove weight is actually from the top of the vehicle. You never want a car to be top heavy. It just hurts handling and all that. So uh, I never use this sunroof. I'm one of those guys who just never opens it, never pops it, I don't do anything with it. So what better way to get rid of it than to replace it with a featherweight, awesome looking carbon fiber panel. I mean, this thing is literally pff, nothing. I'll, I'll weigh it, I'll get the exact weight on it once I get all the stock parts out because I do want to see the weight difference, but I'm guessing about 30 or 35 pounds from the top with all the motors, the tracks, the glass, all that. So Mr. Steven Nelson at NRW installed one of these in his car and sent one over to me to install in my car and I think he's doing a limited run of them for the one series. So if you have a one series, definitely be sure to check them out. I'll put the link down in the description um, and I'm gonna kind of walk through a high level installation of it today. So I'm excited to get this thing in, see how it fits and see how much weight I can get out of the car. To do this, I think we basically just have to start unbolting everything. Um, I know I'll have to pop out this upper light panel thing here, but aside from that, I know taking down the sun visors, unscrewing those, popping out this little airbag button. There's a screw behind here to take both front pillars out. I already did that in the rear. It was, again, just popping that little piece out and unscrewing it. And uh, I've got the seat belts disconnected here. See those little white tabs, I believe, just popping those out will allow me to remove this. Getting the oh shit handles removed. And I think that should be it. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on doing all that and let you know if there's anything else or anything that I run into. Okay, a little bit of cursing, but not too, too bad. And this thing is dropped down. Now I just kind of have to finagle it out of the car. Uh, I think I'm just gonna pull it right through the driver's door here and be careful. There were two bolts when I removed the headliner that I didn't point out initially, and that's one here for that coat hook. You'll just pop a cover off and it's a torque spit. And then there's an eight millimeter bolt there holding the headliner on. Otherwise it went exactly like I talked about with removing the pillars and just disconnecting all this stuff. Uh, and it dropped right down. It was really simple. There was just two clips right here in the back. Um, really easy and straightforward. So now that I've got the headliner out, um, I think just removing this whole sunroof assembly is pretty straightforward. You can see I've removed a, a bolt here, 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 here. There's just a bunch of eight millimeter, 10 millimeter and Torx bits along the whole sides of this thing. Um, so I'm going ahead and removing all those from this side. There's a sunroof drain here, a sunroof drain here that just disconnects. So I'm just going around the whole perimeter. Um, there was a bracket right there that came off here holding it on. Um, and I can already tell that this side is loose. So I did them all on this side. I left one bolt in here in the middle. And uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and continue take the bracket off that side and the sunroof drains and just keep disconnecting a couple bolts and then this whole thing should just drop down. I'm gonna leave the two middle ones in to do last and then try to 
lower it down all by myself. Oh my gosh. So I just dropped this down after unbolting all the bolts. The last thing holding it in, thankfully, because I couldn't handle this weight by myself being in the middle of the car and somehow getting it out is the sunroof motor here. So I've been taking the slack off of it at least for the most part. But once I disconnect this, this whole panel should just come right out of the car. Woo. Oh my gosh. I got all the, the bolts and everything disconnected. I kind of dropped it down carefully there. And now what I'm gonna do is since I have the whole interior out, I'm gonna take the fan out that I've been using to cool me down and just wiggle it all the way out and through the trunk. And then weigh all this stuff I'll probably weigh this assembly by itself, that way if you're gonna reinstall all the brackets and the headliner and all that, you know at least how much this saved you, but I probably am just gonna leave everything out since I've already got everything out. But let's snake this through the trunk. is a lot heavier than it looks. Holy crap. Definitely a lot heavier than it looks. Okay, now for my daily weight in here. It is bright and early in the morning. I haven't eaten, so 142.4 today. I'm busting ass this morning. So 142.4, let's grab this whole assembly. See how much this weighs. Wow, that's crazy. On the dot, 174.4. So, that is 32 pounds. Um, crazy that that's 32 pounds. All right, just to verify what I weigh again, 142.2 now. And 144.2. So two pounds. And if that was, what did we say that was? 31 pounds or whatever? I can't even remember already. And this is two, it's 29 pound savings, or no, 32 pounds, and two pound savings. So it's a 30 pound savings exactly. I believe that's what we said, 32 pounds. So I will definitely take uh, 32 pounds off the top of the car. Looks so silly without anything there. And uh, I guess the rest of the car is now fully gutted. That was pretty much the last remaining thing where I had interior pieces was the pillars and the headliner. Now it's just the dash and the center console, which I like. I mean, once the seats are in, it looks it looks like a OEM plus race car because it's painted black. I've got the door panels and all that. I don't think it looks too bad. Um, there's definitely some noise in the rear. I drove it yesterday. There's You can hear the diff and the axles moving around and all that, but I'm gonna go ahead and test fit the carbon fiber panel now. See how well that fits in and how that secures onto there. So I just like pressed up the, the panel. No screws, nothing holding it in, just like a press fit. And it's already fitting very well. Uh, you can see there's a gap there, but once I get the screws in and get everything tight, it should be pretty much flush. Um, you might notice the there's a few little imperfections in the, the overall smoothness of it. Just a few little tiny dimples. But I think this was kind of like his beta test for me. I'm the first guy that's got this. So he wanted to know how it fit and all that. So I'm not too worried about that. I think anyone that orders this, um, he'll have it absolutely perfect by the time it's in production. But uh, the last remaining step is just gonna be to, to drill out, he's got, um, some placement holes in here already, but there's some felt on the other side, so I'm just gonna pop this back out, drill out these holes, and then work on securing it into some of the factory mounting points. So I've got the uh, panel mostly buttoned up. I reused the stock bolts um, all over the front and the sides. However, there's three more spots in the back, but since the uh, factory sunroof goes all the way back. There's no mounting spots here, so he said uh, 
To use three self-tapping screws, just don't use long ones. Obviously, you don't want to go through the roof, so I don't have any here. I'm going to go buy some, some little 10 millimeter or something to hold up the back. Uh, but otherwise, it came with the weatherproof seal. There was some felt on each bolt location so it doesn't rattle, I'm hoping. Um, and as you can see, it fits pretty well here. The only issue is the back right now because it's not bolted up but once I get some bolts in there and get that nice and tight that should be flush the sides look good the front looks good overall this thing is a race car now so I'm gonna run to the store get some bolts throw those in and show you guys what it looks like all wrapped up so going through the footage I realized I never showed you guys what it looks like at the end so here we are again eight nine months later I filmed the intro to this video that you guys saw and now I'm filming the outro. So you'll notice uh, it's kind of hard to hide but I've got the, the roll cage in here. Spoiler alert, that's gonna be the next video. Um, but here you'll see I've got three screws with a stack of washers holding the sunroof delete plug up in there. You, again, you wanna find short bolts. I was worried that these might be too long so I stacked some washers on them, um, drilled a tiny little pilot starter hole and then self tapped them in um, and as you can see it, it looks great uh, ignore the the reflection of my checkered garage ceiling here but um, turned out great fits flush looks really nice definitely happy with it you can feel the weight reduction for sure since it was at the top of the car it definitely feels a lot more nimble and top heavy and I just realized I never weighed the actual headliner in this video um, so now since you know I'm looking back at the footage I put this on the scale it weighs six and a half pounds and that does not include any of the visors or bolts or bracketry I would guess that this thing comfortably you know not including all the glass paneling and motors but this part alone probably weighs about 10 pounds with all the brackets that hold it up um, so we, we definitely dropped a lot more savings than just the sunroof assembly so that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't believe the uh, the amount of support I have from you guys. So give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.